So as you probably know, we're creating a crime game and we're going to use we're going to use data to solve it using Python. And this is what we're going to create. We're creating it in bytes, so in, in like small coding phases. And if you go to curveball.com and then Curveball Learning Portal in Python, you'll get to byte two. Here you will get the Jupyter Lab notebook that you can use, download, or use it in Google Collab. And this is the part that we're going to do today. Let's run it again. So it will give you a bunch of text and it will ask you for your name and then it will greet you. The thing is that we're going to use functions to create that, right? And you saw on the byte two on the actual theory part how to do it. Now we're going to just create this small bit of our code. So if we go to Google Collab, byte two. The first thing that we're going to do is we need to write all that print statement. So I'm going to actually steal it from here because I don't want to write it. Uh, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a function called intro. Not intro, but intro. And then we're going to print the whole thing. So we're going to do like that. It has been created, needs your help. Um, a few moments later. This is the wrong one. We need to put it like that. A crime has been taking place. And then we want to have also a... Yeah, okay. So the, now it looks nice. A crime has, been ta has taken place and Kerbal Crime Labs needs your help. Blah, blah, blah. Perfect. Now we're going to create another function to ask the user for their name. So def username... And then we're going to do um, participant, particip uh, variables, participant. That is going to store whatever the user gives us. So what is, if you are not following, just make sure you check by two. So you'll see uh, what is your name. So you remember, to be able to access the variable outside the function, we need to make it global. So global party participant, and that will make it global. Now, if we want to execute this, we do username, and that will say, what is your name? Ruth is not printing anything because we haven't told it to print it. So we need to add the print statement here. Print hello parties, participants plus comma. Nice to meet you. Shift enter. Now we should get everything. What is your name, Bruce? And then hello is nice to meet you. Okay, so that is for byte two. Uh, next week, we're going to learn about if statements in Python. Very, very useful, especially for this type of game. So, see you on the next bite.